You know, you can at least play along and react. Jeez. Ow. Thanks. So what I was doing there was I was hitting a man, I think. Um, that is Brandon's nickname. Brandon the Hitman Hannah. You see what I was doing there? I was connecting it all. I was doing a thing. Playing along with it. Yeah. You are terrible at this. Yeah. I, I, I see what you were trying to do. A better thing, maybe of just handing you a rose, because his opponent is Emily Rose Jacobson. Wow. But I don't have a rose, and I'm not going to go get one. But anyway, what's going on, guys? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And again, we are here for a Schmodown reaction. It is an Inner Geekdom undercard match this time. It's Brandon the Hitman Hannah versus Emily the Rose Jacobson. Yeah, so this is going to be a this is a double header schmodown. Uh, we are separating these into two separate videos again, as we typically normally do. So, what are you doing? This is the thing that kids are doing nowadays. He's just weird tonight, or is it just me? This is something the kids are doing nowadays. I don't know why. Weird. Oh, it's because it's my birthday. Oh yeah, it's your birthday. You ain't gonna answer your phone. Hey, it's your birthday. What is that? That's the song that keeps playing on the phone every oh, time the gotcha. phone rings and Happy Death Day. Yeah, that's annoying. That's just annoying phone ringing. You know ring. we're recording right now, right? Yes. Cool. Um, so this match is going to be a ton of fun just because I'm ready to see what Brandon can do outside of, I guess, that four-way. Yeah, so we've seen him, we've seen him in that four-way where he won and yeah, so this is the next, the next match that we're seeing him in since then. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, if it's him versus Emily Rose. I think the winner of this, I'm I'm assuming, will take on, I guess... Whoever wins. I think it's whoever wins uh, Chanju versus Haybon. Oh, yeah, because they're, they're up next on the schedule. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I think the winner of that and then the winner of this will face each other. Yeah. A lot of, lot of craziness going on in the Schmodown world, and it's a ton of fun for us to watch. Yep. Anyway, so who do you got? Um, uh, Brandon. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, Emily Rose, not too bad. Not too bad in her first time out. Uh, she was she was a good competitor. I mean, she. I believe we can say this. She's dating Adam Lavick. Oh, okay. So, Kat just said something too. She wanted to chime in there. You probably didn't hear it, but it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so there, she, she's got a good uh, sparring partner so to speak, for inner geekdom stuff. So, I mean, you could you could give her points that way. She's got a good training buddy to, to train with. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, Brandon, he has had a really strong showing for his first time out. And we know that he's been around in the league in and out before, not necessarily as a competitor, but has been around the block with the Schmodown for a while now. Yeah. So, I mean, all that to say, I think he's I think he's going to take this one. And I'm going to go ahead and agree on that as well. Just pretty much for the same exact reason. So no need for me to explain anything. I think we kind of kind of just nailed it right there. The eloquent... Elo nah, never mind. I was going to say the eloquent one, but I just kind of crapped the bed on that one, didn't I? <laughs> Words. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if our ability to play at the Schmodown tonight is better than our ability to create an intro for this video. And speak. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into this. Yeah, let's do it. I believe this is the Enter Geekdom division, right? Enter Geekdom? Congratulations, you can read. They say the school system is failing. Nope, I can't read. I said Enter Geekdom. That's what all the Hello, people who get it wrong on the internet say. Welcome back to the movie Trivia Schmodown, the Enter Geekdom division oh, here okay. today. Inner. My name is merely no Mark tea. Baby Carousels. I'm not the star attraction. Joining me on the answer desk, the one, the only comedian extraordinaire, Miss Danielle Radford That's is here. In studio live today, Miss Radford. That how is are definitely you? what people know me for is the comedy stylings of Danielle Radford. She is very funny, and I will say that she has the breath of an angel. I don't know how she does it. I don't know what sort of magical altoy she has, but she is not only a great announcer. You see, here, she's but like, she also brings ah, a lot of knowledge yeah. and a lot of competitive is spirit. He right? to an event right. that, Danielle, we're looking at not only a division, but particularly the two competitors we have here today. It's a sign of the times. The Inner Geekdom division has 
has become so sought after with the new Shmodo competitors saying, you know what, I love a Harry Potter movie, or I love a Lord of the Rings movie, I want in on the inner geekdom division. You gotta more than love it, though. You gotta eat, live, rise to the top. Oh, the inner geek repeat, apparently, according to a shirt. Crazy. Both of these competitors are one and one. Or one eat, and sleep, one live, and die, repeat. No losses yet. <laughs> and the awkwardness continues into the video. Edge of Tomorrow is finally getting a sequel. Amazing. Probably. I would have That's directly right. quoted like that, but said, neither competitor has we have a family-friendly channel. In the world of inner geekdom. Somebody's walking out of here with a 2-0 record. Somebody else is going to get you, thrown Mark in the volcano in Mordor. No, not really. That's from uh, one of the movies that they're going to probably know a lot more about than you or I. Let's talk about our competitors. we got Brandon Hanna here. Brandon Hanna, sporting a 1-0 record. How did he get that 1-0? Well, he did nothing short of win a fatal four-way against top competition. you got your Keaton Markey in there. He also he, he took uh, him and Chandra down to Pondy, who's another hot competitor in the Schmoda. Now, actually, he has a matchup coming up against Jared Haven, and the winner of that is going to play the winner of this. But Brandon Hanna going into a fatal four-way, coming out of that on top. Danielle, what does that do to a competitor where you beat not just one opponent, but three opponents? Um, if it was me, it would make me really cocky. That's how I would feel about it. I would. Uh, you beat four people to get Fair. to one spot? Ooh, I would feel very confident. And seeing Brandon and Hannah walk around the studio here before the shoot, he looks nothing short of, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say the word cocky. A little bit cocky, a little bit confident. He definitely feels himself. He knows that would get old after a while doing that. Has the goods to make Probably pulling muscle happen. at some point too. But that would just he's hurt. not the only one in this competition who is also very. Fun talented. fact: I almost no, did just now. Emily I'm Rose out of shape. Jacobson. And Emily Rose has been uh, is such a breath of fresh air here in the Inner Geekdom Division. She took on Winston Marshall and defeated him. Winston knows a lot. He's a very funny performer as well. He could not stand up to the test of Jacobson. So now she comes in. She is listed as the underdog here today. But what is she going to have to do to pull the upset? Set against Brandon Hanna. I mean, I think that the key here is to not be shaken. Don't let him shake be you. Be stirred instead. Come in, be confident. Be what? Oh wait, James Bond's not a part of the inner geekdom. Sorry, Kalinowski. Hot button topic. Is that what we call a, a heated take? Is that a take that you apply trip, heat to? It's a heated take. I feel like I've said that joke on Twitter. That's where I got it from. That's a good baseline. I am back. I had an excellent match versus Winston, and you know what? At first I was here for fun, but now I'm kind of craving that belt a little bit. You're not done with Inner Geekdom. Indeed. I am not finished here. I'm going to keep on climbing my way towards the top. Brandon Hanna walks away in his debut with a win in a four-way qualifier that was certainly a barn burner. Greetings, movie trivia Schmodown fans. Yes, it is I, Brandon the Hitman Hanna back again, this time to take on Emily the Rose Jacobson. Listen, she seems like a lovely person, but the bottom line is, her name has ended up on my hit list, and we all know what happens to names that end up on my hit list. And now we have Brandon Hanna, possibly a new star in the league. Listen, I've been an unknown my entire life. I walk into a room, I'm quiet. Oh, that's nice. Who is this? Anything. I'm listening, I'm paying attention, and now that I finally have my chance in the spotlight, ha -ha, I Brandon think I'm starting to make a pretty good name for myself. He's hitman dressed to the nights. He's got you know the he's seeing this. He's got the suit, but does he have the mindset? Getting in the ring for the first time will shake you, but it's all about staying through to the end, and I think that's what Emily did today. I mean, Spider-Gwen versus a hitman, we'll see who wins. Should I win today? She yeah. actually pulls off Spider Gwen today. pretty well. I want to play Jared Haven or Shandra Duntapani. To be fair, yeah. like if it was Spider Gwen against a Hitman, let's give me a new challenge. I'd, I'd probably give it to Spider Gwen. Yeah. For nothing, I'll take them all out. I'm here for a fun and fair game, but this is not a sprint. It's a marathon for Emily the Rose Jacobson, so I'm coming for you. Emily, like I've said, you seem like a lovely person. But the bottom line is, like three others that have already come before you, you're in my way, and I'm going to have to take you out. Okay. 
right, well, Danielle. Go get him, Tiger. I mean, our speculation ah. was <laughs> Wait, that's Mary Jane. Feels yeah, I know. very cocky. I don't want to say he's overlooking Emily Michelle? Rose Jacobson, but that could what? be a pitfall of his is that you start looking yeah. ahead oh. because you see what the legends of the Inner Geekdom division have done, and you start getting delusions of grandeur, but you have to win, and you have to beat the opponent in front of you that day. It is one match at a time. Mm -hmm. You don't get to say, I understand the, the idea is that you <laughs> want to move on and you want to meet these I'm like all the other Schmodown competitors. Vision, I beat like, them one match at a time. Play every match at a time. You gotta do that in the Christopher Walken voice, though. <laughs> you better not do just only when I defeat him, I make gold records. Of different subjects. <laughs> <laughs> the inner geekdom division. Here is the tale of the tape. Brandon Hanna, he's you very good at the though. MCU. You're not gonna know something about Marvel no. movies that no longer count <laughs> for anything. Sounds like <laughs> and Emily Rose John Travolta. Sandy, Sandy. Storied in the history of both Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. You gotta want to take out the inner geekdom. That wheel is gonna be spinning. One at a time. What you do? Right now, we are just about gold belt. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I am ready. Then it's time for the movie trivia showdown. I like that we join in chorus there. I love. It's a nice little unification there. Introducing first with a record. Wait, do the introductions in the Christopher Walken voice? With one knockout yeah. in the inner geekdom division, she is Emily, Emily Rouse Jacobson. <laughs> this is a spider this spider, Yeah, this is a spider Gwen. That's a confident look with spider Gwen. Are you a reader with spider I have to go too low with that. I don't know if the microphone's actually picking me up on some of that. Especially because you're going to have to talk over the audio of the yeah. slowdown. Because in the end, guess who we all want to hear? her opponent. Christopher Walken. Also with a record of 1-0 and oh and one knockout. That's not going to sound right either. Just because you just spoke like right into the video. And I went, ah. The Hitman Hannah. Brandon, the Hitman Hannah. Oh, look at these guys. You know, I don't ever, I, I treat every competitor the same. I do not ever have biases or opinions, but those gloves are weirding me the F out, my he's friend. He's got the glove and he's got a clipboard that he just showed And so his fingerprints won't be left behind when he's today. done winning it the trivia competition. Now, he yeah, because you don't want to leave fingerprints behind when you play a trivia competition. OJ gloves. They're OJ gloves. I'm the, sorry, I have look, to say it. Those either, are yeah. red gloves. It's they're either isotoners. OJ gloves or like weird Korean mukbang gloves. <laughs> I feel like he's about to... What's happening right now? Either way... Something nice cream with thing. those gloves. But he <laughs> what are we watching? I don't know, but I'm actually so like really hungry for Korean food now. One at a time, Brandon. You started That's what I'm out up as a lonely yes. intern, just bringing briefcases to and fro. And now something you they do on YouTube. One and zero record. Or YouTube. And you're if you're a YouTuber, you would know this. Opponent yet? How you feeling? Always ready to complain. All right. Mm. Sounds very robotic. Wait, that should be Smith's thing. Yeah, I was saying that's a good sub. That's a Winter Soldier. Comma Emily Rose. How you feeling today? Feeling really good. About to have uh, some fun. All right, then. Let's get ready to schmodown. <laughs> Here are the rules in round number one. This is the Inner Geekdom Division. So the field of combat, we are going to get into our first question here today. And that will be asked by Miss Danielle Radford at your ready. All right. In the category of Star Trek, what is the subtitle yeah. of 1989's Star Trek Five. The fifth Star Trek movie. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, yeah, it turns out there were more than one, and so yes. this one is the fifth one. My pen one. doesn't work. Okay, her pen doesn't her pen work, doesn't and that's work. a... Alex, hey, Alex, hey, hey Alex. Hannah. No, we'll, we'll don't take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it again. What is the subtitle hey, Alex. of 1989's Star Trek Five? So I did that yeah, thing that, like... You always make fun of people for for like starting to write in the middle of the board, and then as you get to the room, you squish the letters to the end. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna start over again. That's a good sub rule. Pens now, we're gonna Brandon. It is the final frontier. Does Emily? Oh, I put the undiscovered country. Avoid home. In her answer, and we're off and running here. This that was the fourth one, huh? Next category comes from the world of DC movies. DC. Forget about we'll the EU. You. These are DC movies. Just to help out here. Who plays Alfred Pennyworth in the Christopher Nolan Batman? <laughs> Alfred Pennyworth. Mm -hmm. Could do an impression of him also. One of my it's actually the only way you say his name. I, I, yeah. I say, uh, Batman feels you can't say his name without doing well, his voice. 
Which is weird, because he never actually says his voice, his name. Pens down, go to Emily. That is Michael Caine. And does Brandon have a better impression than that? Michael Caine. See? Those are pretty good. Mike. It's Michael Caine. Michael Caine. No, you said my cocaine. It's I know. Michael Caine. <laughs> if you say my cocaine, it sounds like you're saying his name in his accent. Either that or you're just really proud of your white powder. We tried. Question number three in the category of Middle Earth. Middle Earth. Middle Earth. My cocaine. What is Sam's last <laughs> name in the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Yes. I told you I was going to take that ring to Mordor. <laughs> I think my Michael Caine's actually getting worse. Yeah, I think it's just an English accent now. Okay, started out hot, no more. Five, <sighs> four, three, two, one. Samwise. Pens down, go to Brandon. Gamgee. It is Gamgee. 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 They had it. Gamgee. They even oh, Gamgee. It right. Gamgee. <laughs> yeah, two E's. There, there, there's no J when in we there. Know that. The, uh, pronunciation will fool you. Your next category is from the Lord I've of seen the Lord of the Rings. That stands for Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not sure if you guys know. Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's not the right, simple the answer for every time we know a Lord of the Rings in question. what MCU film <laughs> kind does of Jeremy Renner's Clint Barton slash Hawkeye first appear? First so I did that thing again where you start writing in the middle No, of you the did not. <laughs> and if you did, you got the answer wrong. <laughs> Have you listened to it's real. He has a great voice. That song is so dumb. <laughs> There's not a dang MCU title that's that long. Fence down, go down. First Avenger. The Avengers... Yeah. It is not the I mean, Avengers. Maybe. Does Brandon Guardians have it? of the Galaxy. He, he does have it. It's Thor. He takes the first it's Thor. Lead I'm so Thor the right now. It is four to three. Bram, bram, and we'll keep in mind if Brandon Thor should four. continue to get the next six questions right, he's going to ask the bonus question for a perfect round just to him. We have a long way to go before. Because it's my birthday. I'm getting old. Okay, question number five. In the world of Marvel, not the MCU, but Marvel, the first Ghost Rider film starring Nicolas Cage was released in what year? What year? I clearly want what to year? Impression competition. Can you do a Nicolas Cage impression? That's it. Surprisingly close. <laughs> yeah. That's him. As I want to take his face. Not the beast. Not oh. the beast. No. I'll steal the Declaration of Independence. One. Hands down, and we are going to go to Brandon. 2008. That is incorrect. He was off by the year. Does Emily have it? 2003. Oh. 2007. Seven. Looking for 2007. Oh, poor ghostwriter. That's right. One year past Christian Harloff's greatest year ever. Uh. All right. We move to the world of Harry Potter movies. know. Here's your no. next question. Harry Potter films. And your question. Name the caretaker of Hogwarts who patrols hallways looking for misbehaving students with his cat. <laughs> What a Hello, lonely... that is very specific. That's a lonely person. The hall monitor? All you got is your cat at home? We just need the last wow, name. Wow, why are you reading me? I, <laughs> I, I'm not alone. saying you're the person. No, you know, I am. I am the Five, hall monitor with a cat. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We are going to you first, Emily. Uh, that's Filch, and his cat's name is Mrs. Norris. Oh, God. That, yep. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Brandon Anna, did he have it? It's Mr. Filch to you. It is. It is Mr. Filch. We also would have accepted Danielle Radford for that answer. But Murray! <laughs> and, uh, now, Matthew so Mahogany. Uh, All right. Four. We have two really good competitors here. I do. I feel like Mine I was a Scrubs reference, reference, which has nothing to do with movies or um, inner geekdom. No, I just felt like seven. making a Scrubs reference. In the world of the say DCEU, McGonagall? DCEU, yeah. in Justice League, which hero does Diana try to locate in hopes of bringing them on to the team? Except uh, either the hero's name or the, the person's name mm -hmm. who is the hero. There are two names. Yeah. Neither is acceptable. Your boyfriend's a stud, by the way. I told Five, you. Four, three. <laughs> I tried toddies. Two, one. Ben's down going to Brandon. Cyborg. That is correct. Does Emily have it? Cyborg. She also has That'd be Cyborg. Cyborg. Her name is Victor Stone. Victor Stone. Stone. Yes, thank you. Victor Stone. And that's Said at the same time. Back. Actor. Go to the world <laughs> of Star Wars. Mm. Star Wars. Nice. And your question is, in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, what is the name of the planet that the Empire is removing the kyber crystals from? <laughs> you know that Empire. They're always mucking <laughs> just up Just like something. that they're crystals, just like oh, that crystal, this crystal, It's the name crystal. of the planet they oh, so lovable, blew up you know? the city of. Oh, they love their they really are cuddly. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Heads yeah, down, know. we are going nice. to... Couldn't yeah, think of anything first. funny. What do you got? Um, it's not right, Batu. It is not Batu. Does Brandon have it? It's Jetta. It is in yeah, fact Jetta. Jetta. 
So he certainly I love Rogue One. to a two-point lead over Emily with two All questions right. left here. Just, yeah. It's better than Solo. Yes. Number nine in the world of heroes and villains. Who plays Colonel Stars and Stripes in Kick-Ass 2? A lot of people not uh, not on the Kick-Ass 2 train, like the first Kick-Ass. There's really a train? The I like them. I thought that it was a good movie. And wouldn't that be called Kick Caboose? Come on, somebody. Cody, where's that ding? Oh, but he's on Collider Live, not here. I don't want to be on any train that is going to a backslide. I was supposed to go to Brandon, so let's see if Brandon has it. It's Jim Carrey. He does! There it is! That'd be Jim Carrey. James Carrey. I think it's the gloves. They're so reflective, you can't see it. That's right. I feel like I should be asking Johnny Cochran for his answer. I'm ahead of you right now. But that's not possible here today. So we go to your last Jetta. category in round number one. Brandon Hanna has a three-point lead over Emily Rose Jacobson. It is eight to five. Both Brandon's doing better than both of us. Wealth and a breadth of knowledge. Your last question is going to require that because Fair. it's in the category of mixed bag. Roll the music. Nope. All right. In the Harry Potter <laughs> films, what is Mr. Weasley's first name? Ooh. Made everyone real sad. That's, okay with that? Yeah, what happens? Does he, <laughs> what happens were, to Mr. Weeds? Does he die or something? He can't remember. Five, that dude loves cars. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. We are going to. Brandon, we'll go to you first on this one. It's Arthur. It is Arthur. Does anybody oh. have it? Robert. She went Robert. Oh. That is incorrect. And so Brandon Weasel. Hannah. Ronald McGonagall Dumbledore. I thought his name was Weasel Weasley. Weasley. That's a four-point lead over, Lee, over Emily Rose Jacobson. We know our yeah, Harry Potter here. <laughs> Weasel Weasley played bit. by uh, Paulie Shore. Is the solid. Weasel. You, <laughs> you know, also, wow. I get it. Most dudes are named Robert. <laughs> If you're going to name a dude, he's going to be Robert. You go Robert, you I go Bob. It. Some iteration thereof. And mm -hmm. with that, we move on to you round do. number it's two. This Chris. is the wheel round. This is the wheel of fate, doom, and justice. And if you're out there rooting for Miss closer Jacobson, to Ellis this when is going to be that. that sponsored slice is Harry Potter. So Yay! Harry Potter, we're going to say the name of the sponsory. That's from the movie trivia showdown patron. By the way, check out the Patreon right now. Select which tier is right for you. Maybe one day we'll hey, say Hey, uh, can you all start sponsoring wheel slices that, that we're good at? Like we will say it if somebody spins Harry Potter. You know, Brandon, you back have to the future. first spin, but you can also defer to him. I've seen those movies, but I'm not good at the trivia for him. I would like to spin first. He's going to spin right. it. This might and be the first we, competitor in history that's not going to leave any trace of yeah, fingerprints. Yeah, we would never know he's on because of his that's weird gloves. Right. Ah, Look at that assessment. gloves make sense like now. A little junior varsity John Wick. You do need him for just trivia. That's a nice spin. Confident, but not... You know, it would help with the palm sweat. Break the wheel. Not overly much. You would never know if they're sweaty. <laughs> All right, here it comes. An opponent's choice lurking on there. And he is spun. Oh. Middle, Middle Earth. Middle Earth. He's keeping, He's keeping Middle keeping Earth. It. All right. That All was right. a confident walk. I wonder if that's what he was aiming for the whole time. That was a great spin. It was a great spin. Uh, for a very gloved man. And uh, for a very well-gloved man. Uh, Brandon, I'll be asking you your Lord of the Rings questions. Uh, I guess these are Middle Earth, so this could be Lord of the Rings or the other three movies. Or any um, Earth. Really, any Earth. We're the only Earth. Could be the higher Earth, Brandon. the lower Earth. Five no, questions. it's just the Middle Earth. Your first one, worth two points, and it is. The son of King Theoden is killed by orcs before Aragorn, Olegolus, and Gimli arrive in Rohan. What is his name? What is your favorite color? Theoden. Junior. Give the man two points. I don't know. What is the average airspeed of Off the unladen swallow? Star. All right, your next question. It's the wrong key. Two more points. What is the answer to the first riddle Gollum asks Bilbo in the unexpected journey? Bathroom's over there, dude. <laughs> Batman. Five. Just because I don't remember the order they were asked, I'm going to go multiple choice. Three. I can provide that. Is it a time? B, teeth. C, wind. Or D, eggs. Teeth. Eggs. We're both guessing. Five, four, three, two. Eggs. One. That is incorrect for a big one-point steal. Does Emily have it? Is it B, B teeth? I'm sorry, what did you say? Teeth? It is not teeth either. We're both wrong. Time, teeth, wind, eggs. It was wind. Wind was the answer. That is... So if you broke time, <laughs> you broke teeth, you broke eggs, no but if you broke wind, nobody knew that answer. So now we go back to Brandon. Uh, your third Make up your own joke here for in, that. In uh, the world of Middle Earth, 
What does Boromir consider the ring to be during the Council of Elrond? Cursed a gift. It is a fancy two piece points. of jewelry. Bling bling. How about that for a nice gift? So Brandon Hannah, eight point lead over. Say bling bling. Rose Good Lord, did you play off of me or two something? More questions to go here. Did you say a phrase from like the nineties? Here's what he's doing. <laughs> What was the evil entity referred learn. to that haunted the ruins of Dol Guldur in the Hobbit films? Well, so much for learning. Uh, what did you say again? Brandon yeah, Hannah. bling bling. He oh, okay. I've <laughs> seen these movies. Oh, he, uh, he's wearing those gloves because he didn't want to leave a trace. <laughs> I've seen The Lord of the Rings multiple Big times. He's like those rider guys. So many know? fancy the, words and whatnot in that. I can never the follow The riders, them. they Ooh. do the... Uh, it's fine. With the horses. Uh-huh. All right, Brandy, last question. In round number two, for two more points, name the Gondorian city that Denethor sends Faramir to retake from the orcs. Osgiliath. Uh, yeah, two points. But yeah, that's my response. We got deeper and deeper into the war as we went, and the guy didn't blink, Danielle. Not even a single time. He's got his. Uh, he's def- definitely afraid of us discovering his fingerprints on that water, <laughs> but he is still doing a great job of answering these questions. A stone cold killer, Brandon Hanna, was in round number two for a 12 point lead, currently over Emily Rose Jacobson. But now it is your turn to have a spin at the wheel from the wheel, not the pegs, if you please. Does Brandon know that his DNA is still all over the lip of the rim? <laughs> I don't think he does. That's how we're going to get him. <laughs> That's how we're going to get him. that water. All right, round of Come round on, get Marvel. We need to feel good about ourselves tonight. Here. You can't spin opponent's choice here. That's the one no-no, and it's getting close to that. Ooh, Ooh Star, Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Spin Why again. Spin that again. Skin of her teeth. Does she want Star Trek? No. What's she thinking? You don't want Star Trek. She's going to keep She's Star gonna Trek. She's going to take it. She does want Star Trek. She's going to keep Star Trek. Dang it, Spider Gwen. When you select That's a move right there. You've got to think not only do I know a lot about this, but, but maybe does my does opponent, my opponent yeah. not know because they could steal it. So with that being said, Emily Rose, you're going to be fielding questions. The way this game works, though, if you're this far right. behind, you want to All make right. sure that you're getting the points. Who cares if your opponent steals or not? Yeah. Representatives from the Federation, the Klingon Empire, and what third species meet on Nimbus? Vulcans. The Romulan. The Romulan. That is correct. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, uh, okay. She got it. She got it. Yeah, All come right. on, you what know, is, it's a Romulan. Like come five on, questions. Let's see if we can get a different Star Trek <laughs> Okay, well, we'll do in Star Trek Four. You happy? Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the voyage home. What oh, you're kind right. of animal my question. is the crew tasked to save? Whales. Whales. The humpback whales. That is correct. Specifically, is the, the humpback whales. Yeah, I mean, we would have just taken whales, but she decided that she was going to be teacher's pet on this yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. Get she rid almost sounded like the Frank whales. We only describing the. <laughs> that's how the humpback oh, whales right, do. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> In Star Trek Insurrection, what is the name of the alien race that Data is observing before he malfunctions? Multiple oh, choice. All right. Is it A? Baku, is it B, Evora, is it C, Sona, or is it D, Goret? Baku. Uh, a, Baku. That is correct. It is Baku. For one point. For one that's point. right, I knew that yeah, one. I thought that was I the rival tribe to guy from, uh, that no, that's Mbaku. That oh, okay. oh, there's the guy, like, they literally put it there for me. The, so the apostrophe is in a different place, and there's another letter. They did it. Uh. But, I, but, but I'm also very good. Thank you, Chris Galisky and everybody at the Modown writing staff. Um, this actress played James Kirk's mother, James Kirk's mother, in 2009. I'm going to do that again. This actress played James Kirk's uh, mother. Why can't I say words? Because um, she got so cocky. With ah, she's mother. like, oh, she can't say words either. Never yeah, happens. make me feel good. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Your breath is fantastic. <laughs> this actress played she's James Kirk's mother in 2009's Star Trek. Oh, Jennifer Morrison. Yes. Multiple choice. Is it A, Alice Eve? No. B, Jennifer Morrison? Yes. C, Winona Ryder? No. Or D, Rachel Nichols? No. B. That is correct. Wow. Jennifer Morrison for yep. one point. Maneuvering her way around Star Trek. She's had to check the multiple choice a couple of times, but she's knocked it out of the park each and every attempt. And now one more question lies for Emily Rose Jacobson in the world of Star Trek. All right. In Star Trek Beyond, what is the name of the crashed Starfleet ship that Jayla uses to make her makeshift home? Multiple choice. Is it A, the USS Maru, 
B, the USS Calvin. Calvin. C, the USS Vengeance. The Vengeance. Or D, the USS Franklin. Calvin was different. It was a different thing. B, the USS Kelvin. Finally, this is a multiple choice question. So, Vengeance. Brandon, your options one more time. The USS Maru, the USS Calvin, yeah, knows. the USS Vengeance, or the USS Franklin? It's the USS Franklin. It is the USS correct. Franklin. For a Vengeance is what was steal. used in uh, a little bit of a Mara just the one before it. Otherwise brilliant round no, the Spirit of, yes, of the yeah. Star Trek. So, uh, it's a seven-point game. Brandon, the one before Anna, it with uh, Con. As we move into Con. the final round. Round number three, where a lot of points can be uh, earned, but none exchanged. Because in round number three, there is no stealing. There's no penalty for missing a question. It's just a toy seven-point advantage. So you get to give me your three lucky numbers from one to 16 first. What do you got? Four, eight, and 15. Very confident number giver. Four, eight, and 15. He did not hesitate. Emily Rose Jacobson, what do you got? 14, seven, three. She didn't hesitate either. These are no, two these very are confident Mathletes. I think they love numbers. <laughs> very good. Very They're good very good at numbers. All right, Emily. I'll be asking you your series of questions. Uh, we're going to start with you. Need seven points to make Brandon Hanna start to sweat. And you, for your two-point question, uh, selected number 14. Mm -hmm. And that corresponds to a world you may be familiar with, Star Trek. It was going so well for five questions. Well, let's do it for two. Let's do one more for two points. Your question is, in Star Trek Beyond, which crew member has a husband uh, and so daughter well. shown briefly mm. at Starbase Yorktown? Yep. Commander Sulu. Two points That's for two Emily points. Rose. Well done. She's climbing back in the game. Now, so now she has a three-point question. Even if she misses this question, she still has a shot to tie Brandon Hanna, force his hand, and avoid a TKO. So, Emily, you selected number seven for your three-point question, and that corresponds to the world of villains. Villains. For three points. Your question is, which actor appears as a villain in both the DCEU and the X-Men universe. Danny Houston. Yep. Wonder Woman and Wolverine. Uh -huh. Would you know this if you were not looking at The X-Men Origins I'm Wolverine. Give it the respect it deserves. I've okay. Never mind. <laughs> Ean. <laughs> the movie's called Ean, then. <laughs> a JTE? I can uh, repeat right. the question. I thought he came in the studio. <laughs> no, she actually wanted you to go what? get him and bring him oh, in no. so she could ask him. Uh, your question, Emily Rose. So like a uh, once again for three points. Yeah. Which actor How's appears JTE? as Hold a friend. villain in the DCEU and X-Men universe? I can't remember the actor's name, but is it the actor that plays General Zod? Um, I couldn't give you those points, even if I mean, it was correct. You were thinking Michael Shannon. We were looking for Danny Houston. Got it. Danny they, Houston. They were in the same show. I get it. Cause were they really? I think they were. Yeah, Danny they Houston were was in Wonder there. Woman. He was also in X-Men Origins, Wolverine. Everybody loves that movie. So now, Emily, all of a sudden, we are faced yeah. with your five points. The question. opening was good. Get this right. You're going to force the Brandon part that Hannah Ryan Reynolds actually was in was if good. You miss it. Brandon Hanna will have a 2-0 yes, record. the beginning so part. For your five-point question, he wasn't you in it later on. number three. He, that was a different He actor. was, but we don't have time to go into that. Yes, I know. I know who you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> scores and soundtracks. And your question is, five points to force the hand of Brandon Hanna. What Queen song is playing during the superpower testing montage in Shazam. Is it Don't Stop Me Now? Yes. It's Don't Stop Me Now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tied at 18. Yes! Oh. Wow. I would have gone with a We Will Rock You, and we are the champions mm. to tie your mother down. She knew it was Don't Stop Me Now, and it is hard to stop Emily Was he picking up his marker? Hannah has the opportunity to that do just that. She has tied this was, up. This is one is of the already most ready to go with it, isn't he? That we've this, seen is, in a while. this is very good, and Brandon Hanna. What a bum. Now going to have to answer a question for two points. What's his category, Danielle? All right, his category is the MCU. All right, and for two points and the win. Which actress plays Lady Sif in Thor? Uh, oh, no, he's going to the clipboard. I hate this. 
Um, I don't usually judge competitors. Jamie Alexander. Like crossing yep. a, name. a name out. It's Jamie Alexander. And wow. you're your winner! <laughs> Brandon! The Hitman! Hannah! Oh, man. He, oh, and he almost fell. He's not, Jamie turns out, Alexander, not working. Right. Still working. He that's. Name off his hit list, but I actually do kind of like that way of ending it. Though. I do. Jacobson. It's not as boss a move as Dwan Gimme Kalinowski, but it is. Be it's 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 getting there. It's up there. Also, Emily Rose, do yourself it's a, a nice favor, solid favor and just like touch him on different parts. Of that would that would be like, hey, by the way, Emily, just so that we know that you were here. It did feel like for a while there that Brandon was he was sipping water. He was watching scratch off in front of her Yeah, it's kind of hard with the small framing of our living room here. He had to step up to the plate, but he did enough yes. to get the win here. You got to look at round number two because Brandon spun something that I didn't know he was going to keep mm -hmm. with Middle Earth. And then Emily Rose comes right back. She's been Star Trek. So what I was really impressed with, Danielle, is that going into this match, we knew what Brandon and Emily's preferred strengths were. They did not spin those in round number two necessarily, but they both had very good round number two. So they know a lot more than maybe even we knew. Especially with Emily rolling Star Trek. That was amazing and not something I expected at all. Emily, again, cannot be discounted in mm -hmm. the inner geekdom. She clearly knows what she's talking about. She is currently one and one, and we have an interview with Emily Rose Jacobson right now with our own Emma Fife. Emma, take it away. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I am here with Emily Rose Jacobson. Emily, I have to say, way to hang in there today. Thank you. I felt, I felt really, really good. I know my first match I won, but I wasn't answering all the questions I wanted to. So that was my real goal for today, was to really be a tough competitor at that table. Yeah, I think that anybody that watched this match today can have absolutely no doubt that you belong in this Inner Geekdom League. I mean, against any other competitor, you could have very easily won that match. But Brandon, I mean, he just, he came out swinging. Let's put it that way. Oh my gosh, just watching him. I'm inspired by him, actually. You know what, he put on a really good match and man, I wanna knock out questions like him someday. Now, spinning Star Trek in round number two. Star Trek is a category that people tend to spin away from in the inner geekdom. Were you happy with Star Trek? Were you a little nervous going into it? So weirdly enough, last night and this morning, I was like, you know what I'm gonna focus on and I'm gonna review a lot of? Star Trek. Nah. We actually watched Beyond last night, which I'm a little disappointed I missed that one Beyond question. But yeah, I was just like, my gut was telling me, you know what, you worked on it this morning, let's give it a shot. And now I have to give you a little behind the scenes info here. I actually overheard you going through some scores and soundtrack stuff in the green room before the show. So when you got scores and soundtracks for your five pointer, I was like, she's gonna get this. I know she is. I was so happy it was uh, Shazam. I, we, <laughs> just, we just watched that last week. And so I was like, great. Yep, I remember that film, Queen, awesome. Don't stop me now. Well, Emily, I think that you definitely lived up to your own personal goal today to answer more questions correctly than you did your first time around. You played an incredible match. So, you know, sometimes you lose, that's the case, but you know, you're one and one. So not a bad record to start things off with. Agreed. For me, the inner geekdom is a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm coming for that belt someday and I'm gonna work my way to it and it's gonna be sweet, sweet victory. Well, if your uh, sort of trajectory of improvement continues to be the same as it is, I don't think there's any doubt that you could be a very strong belt contender one day. So again, my condolences, Emily, and we will be right back with Brandon, the hitman, Hannah. That's right. Thanks so much, Emma. And Danielle just texted me that Shazam was so good. It's it so was good. a really good movie. You enjoyed it thoroughly. Shazam! Well, certainly the study pays off because that's Danielle what I've noticed with the Inner Geekdom this season is that not only Just do we have right a lot of door. competitors, we also have people really doing the research. Like Emily said, <laughs> she really put in the time I think with that was Star the joke. Trek very they recently. were trying we to be quiet Shazam during the recently, And so oh, that yeah. knowledge clearly paid off for her at the desk here today. I also appreciate that they are coming in and they are not letting themselves be psyched out mm -hmm. or letting themselves... Um, not realize their full potential they know that they are in it to win it and they know that they are as good as any of the other competitors in the inner geekdom and i appreciate that as the first coach in. for the carolina panthers dom capers once said there's no better feeling than being fully prepared and brandon hannah was certainly that here today he is now joined by emma fife Sports. emma what does the hitman have to say for Jeez. himself guilty or not guilty <laughs> we are back with brandon the hitman hannah brandon i mean this was a good game you played today yeah, thank you. Uh, I think I performed pretty well. Uh, missed a couple that I felt I should have had, but uh, I'm going to be honest. Emily played a hell of a game. She's definitely been studying, and it shows. She has a bright future in this league. 
Now, I have a question about the gloves. Are you just, are you afraid? Do, do you think there's germs in the studio? Like, I don't understand. I mean, I get, like, the hitman thing, but come on, man. I'm a hitman, and unlike O.J. Simpson, these gloves actually fit. Well, oh. Fair. Oh. Fair, oh. fair, 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 fair criticism. Zing. So, Brandon, you got Middle Earth in round two, and you didn't necessarily list that as one of your strengths, but I think that you proved that maybe you're somebody that doesn't really have any particular weaknesses in the inner geekdom league here. Listen, I like to believe that I've been studying to a point where they're all my strengths. So whatever I spin, I'm going to roll with it. And uh, continue to cross names off of your hit list there, though I will say that uh, it's, you know, you, you got a good start on it since you debuted in a match against a bunch of other people. And speaking of, you're now going to be taking on the winner of Chandru versus Jared Hebron. What are your feelings about that? Who would you like to see win? Listen, when a name gets added to my hit list, it gets crossed off. I already crossed Chandru's name off my list. I want a new challenge. Bring on Jared. I see. So you're you're all you're all Haybon on this upcoming match then. I mean, I'll win either way, but yeah. Okay. And then now you're you know you're two and zero. Oh. If you beat Chandru or Jared going forward, then you would be three and zero, oh, which means that. The belt is maybe not that far out of your grasp. Are you, I assume anyway, that that is your goal here in the Intergeekdom League? I mean, of course it's the end goal. Uh, I've been studying a lot, but um, I've got a lot more studying to do before I can get to that level. Um, for now, the immediate goal is to go 3-0, and and that's what I plan on doing. You definitely don't get to be a Mike Kalinowski or a Rachel Cushing by just sleeping and living your life. So I look forward to seeing your continued success here in the Intergeekdom League, Brandon, and uh, congratulations. Thank you, Emma. Back to you, Danielle and Ellis. Well, Emma, sleeping and living my life is all that I'm really uh, known for. Super so into it. Uh, hats off to Brandon Hanna. Same. What a win he had here today. He now goes to 2-0, and oh, and like Emma pointed out, he will be facing the winner of Chandra the Chosen versus Jared Too Smooth Haven. Danielle, do you have an early read on that match? Who is Brandon going to be facing? Um, You know, I'm not sure who he's going to be facing, but I do think that if he wins, he will get the requisite sunglasses. Yeah. I think you have to get the sunglasses <laughs> Which, once you beat the, the the person in this match. Yeah, well, once you get to 3-0, and oh, that's when the, uh, the your future gets a little too bright to put on the shades. Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining us here today in a fantastic match. Emily Rose Jacobson, to be feared going forward in the league for sure, and Brandon Hanna, still perfect at a 2-0 and oh record, facing the winner of the Chosen One versus Too Smooth. Four, Danielle Radford, I am Mark Baby Caratelis. Hey, make sure you join the Movie Tribute Mode on Patreon. Select which tier is right for you with that we will say good night good luck danielle take us out bye <laughs> yeah so called it yeah there's another name off brandon hannah's hit list so um, so now he's either gonna put jared on that list or a name that he's already crossed off that list back on the list. So do you have to write the name again, or just do you erase your original pin mark? or Two know? lines through the, through the name the first time? Typically, hitmen don't have to go back and kill the person that they've killed again. So. I don't necessarily know if they even have to control their own list. I think it's probably all done on the computer now, too. Or something like that. I Look, Brandon, we're going to dissect your shtick here as long as possible. Actually, that was it. We're done. Yeah. Because uh, we need to move on because we got another one that we have to film right after this. So Yeah. Uh, that was a good match. Uh, she put up a good fight. He put up a good fight. Everyone put up a good fight. Yeah. Good and all I'm definitely looking forward to Brandon's performance further into the inner geekdom. Yeah. Because I want to I wanna keep seeing him get some wins because I want to see, is he going to... Is he going to be able to contend with a with a Smith? Is he going to be able to contend with a Kalinowski? You know, these are these are the kind of things. Oh, Mara, is he going to be able to contend with Mara? That's right, Mara's coming back. And... I mean, yeah, these these are the ones you're going to have to look at facing here if you continue on the trajectory you're going forward. So that's a that's a big mountain to climb. Yeah, I don't think, and we're probably just like a few. I would say maybe matches away from him starting to hit those mm -hmm. those people. Yep. So or trying to hit those people. Ha ha! He's a hitman. Hey. Mm, yeah. So yeah, we'll look forward to his career with great interest, and hopefully he'll he'll do pretty well in that. I see what you did there. Eh. It's a Star Wars reference. Yes, it was. Energy. Good job. Ha ha. 
So, uh, I think that's going to do it for, for this reaction. Go over to the Movie Trivia Schmodown YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe over there. Help them out any way you can. Also, make sure you sign up for the Patreon. We want this to be the magic season. We want them to hit at least 6,000 patrons. So, go over there and make sure you subscribe at least a dollar. It's just a dollar, and it helps them out immensely. So, make sure you go over there and do that. For us, typically this would be the point where I would say like, comment, and subscribe, but I think another thing we want to start focusing on is go follow us on Twitter. We need some followers over there. We've got some good followers started here on YouTube. We'll make sure you are following us over on the tweet spot. That would be at Cinefanatics MLP. You'll see the link and stuff for it down below. So make sure you go follow us over there. That way we can connect with you and let you know stuff we're planning on doing. We do have plans that we are putting in motion as we speak for what we want to do for the rest of this year on into next year. We're at least thinking about them anyway. Yeah. So as we continue to develop these, it would be nice if we could reach out to fans and get some fan interaction and perspective on this. So make sure you follow us and let us know. So feed back. Cute. So make sure you follow us over there. Also, if you like this video, feel free to comment and like. Tell me never to do this again. No. Above our heads, there is a subscribe button. Make sure you hit that to subscribe and follow us here on YouTube. Also over here to the side are a couple of other videos we have made. And as always, don't hit me, Brandon. Now. Yep, later. See ya. You know in the comics, Gwen Stacy dies early. <laughs>